Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Rhodes 101 World Headquarters. We're very glad you were able to join us this afternoon as we make a very exciting announcement. And I would just like to emphasize how big this announcement is, just how huge it is. Thanks, Brent. This summer, Rhodes 101 is setting out to break the world record for the largest fountain drink cup in history. The current world record is 3,246 gallons, and we aim to beat it. Again, to emphasize, can you imagine how big this cup is going to be? I mean, huge. Thanks, Brett. The most exciting part about breaking this world record is that every one of our customers at Rhodes 101 gets to be part of helping us set the new world record. Beginning on Memorial Day weekend through the months of June and July, every cup we sell in one of our stores is contributing one ounce toward the size of the new cup that we hope sets the world record. And I hate to interrupt again, but our customers are extremely thirsty all of the time. Can you imagine, again, how huge this cup is going to be? I mean, big. Thanks, Brent. The giant cup that Brent keeps talking about will be unveiled at a party that we're hosting at our Mercado de Rodi on Sunday, August 20th, which happens to be National Lemonade Day. And at this party, when we attempt to break the world record, we're going to fill the cup with lemonade, and at the end of the party, give away a glass of lemonade to all our Rhodes customers. Again, uh, lemons, big, like big lemons, lemonade, big, huge lemons. Thanks, Brent. So with that said, do we have any questions from the press? Uh, Mr. Ryanago. Uh, yeah, how will this uh, record be verified? So we are bringing in an official world record judge who will verify that we are in fact breaking the world record. And while we can't disclose the name of the organization where the judge will come from, we can say that the name rhymes with Dennis. In addition to the judge, we'll also have a county health inspector and a licensed engineer to verify the capacity and size of our cup as well as the hygienic condition of the cup before we serve the lemonade beverage to all of our customers. Joe? Will a short, fat, red straw be used in this world record cup or a tall, thin straw? We're not quite ready to, to tell everyone what we would use specifically as for the straw, but I can tell everyone here that it will be huge. I mean, big. Any more questions? Uh, Mr. Statler. Yeah, any idea how long it's gonna to take to build this world's largest fountain cup? Well, it's gonna take quite some time, but it's not gonna take any longer than it took April the giraffe to have her baby on social media. Any other questions? Mrs. Jones in front. How will you possibly pass this cup through the drive through window? Uh, it's not our intent to sell a cup if that's what you're referring to. I mean, this big cup couldn't possibly even fit in a car, so I'm not sure really what you're asking. Um, wh what I can tell you is our aim is to make fountain drinks big again. To make them big, I mean huge. Thanks, Brett. Okay, I think that's all the questions, so please keep up with the Roads 101 Facebook page all summer as we continue to update everybody on the progress we make towards setting the new world record.